Well, before the pandemic, not just the end, almost the end of 2019, I was invited by a group to distribute gifts dito sa Children's Hospital sa May Quezon City. Hindi yung sa May e. Rodriguez, yung isa yung mas malaki. And I thought that I was just giving gifts sa isang hall na kung saan yung mga bata eh pupunta. But then they informed me that, no father, you have to go ward by ward. <laughs> and it was actually the first time to visit such a number of children, sick children, different kind of sickness, or different kinds of sickness. And then there is this one boy who had a patch on the eye, siguro inoperan sa mata or there's probably something wrong with his eyes. And I was there, I prayed over the boy. And then the boy was holding my hand or some of my fingers. And then when I was about to leave, the boy doesn't want to let go of my hand. I, I don't know what was in his mind, but definitely there is a need, you know, maybe of security, maybe of healing. Maybe the boy is in pain and suffering. And that's the first scene I remembered when I was preparing for my sharing for tonight. You know. Well, of course, there were children who are fortunate, children who are experiencing pleasures and joys in their lives, children who, were, who are well attended by their parents and the people surrounding them. There are also children who were neglected, exploited, abused. And that's what happened in the readings for today, the holy innocents became the recipients of a fury, of an anger, of a man who was so frustrated to find Jesus. And that is why he said, oh, sige, let us kill all those two years old and below and hoping that, you know, we will find Jesus. But of course, Jesus wasn't there anymore. Of course, this is a sad story of cruelty. But we don't want to let go or to forget what was sacrificed during that night lives of children and that is why we honor them we consider them as the youngest martyrs of the church they died though they did not know it probably they died for christ they died for the sake of the savior and you know sadly itong holy innocence day eh may mga tao na di treat it like a, an April Fool's Day, you know, that they are making fools of others and exploring or exploiting innocence of people. But where in fact it is a day of remembering, it is a day of honoring those who suffer, those who offer their lives for Christ. I remember the Gospel according to St. John, the prologue. And it says there that, you know, after the birth of Jesus, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness could not overcome it. And this is what happened during the time of Jesus, and even in our times today, that there are those who want to, or wanted to extinguish the light, who is Jesus Christ. But he failed to do so because the light remained shining and is remaining shining in the darkness. And for us, let us promote life. Let us protect children. Let us protect people. And in kindness, in charity, 
in love, let us keep the light of Christ shining. He is the light when he was born in this world. And for us, may we become bearers of light like the innocent children, that their death did not become an end, but rather their death became, like Jesus, a light shining in the darkness. As we remember them, let us remember Jesus Christ, the innocent one who himself offered his life for our sake. Amen.